what's going on guys, it's Dynasty and I'm back bringing you another Grand Theft Auto 5 video that I got for y'all today is some new information about the newly revealed Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC version of GTA 5 that was revealed yesterday at E3. If you guys have not seen the trailer for the next gen consoles, I'll actually have a link to that in the description below. It came out yesterday during E3's press conference and it looks absolutely amazing. The graphics look stunning. We got a minute and a half of uh, you know graphics and it just looks amazing and a matter of fact, Rockstar actually updated their newswire a couple hours ago and they gave us a bunch of information on what's to come with this whole next generation of Grand Theft Auto 5 so I have a link to the full Rockstar newswire in the description below if you guys want to read that I'm actually gonna read it off there's a lot of new stuff coming for these next gen versions of GTA 5 so if that's said let's get into it the article states, Today we're proud to announce that the critically acclaimed and record-breaking Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming this fall to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Grand Theft Auto 5 will take full advantage of the power of the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC with across-the-board graphical and technical improvements to deliver a stunning new level of detail. Of course, if you guys watched the trailer, you can definitely see the big difference there graphically. Increased draw distances, finer texture details, denser traffic, and enhanced resolutions all work together to bring life to the cities, towns, deserts, and oceans of Rockstar North's epic reimagining of Southern California. Switch between the interconnected lives of Michael, Trevor, and Franklin as they embark on a series of heists across Los Santos and Blaine County in the biggest, deepest, and richest open world experience yet. With game world enhancements that include new wildlife, upgraded weather and damage effects, and an array of new details to discover. Bam! So off the back, you guys have it right there. We're going to be getting some new wildlife in Grand Theft Auto V, some new weather, and a whole bunch of more detail already just added to the game in general. Those few features alone added into this are going to be amazing, make the game a much more enjoyable experience. I really love how at the end of that little paragraph there, they even said there's new details to discover. So all in all, there's still more stuff that you get to even reveal about this whole graphical changes. So also says the new generation upgrades also extend to Grand Theft Auto Online, an ever-evolving Grand Theft Auto universe. Rise through the criminal ranks by banding together to complete jobs for cash, purchase properties and vehicles and character upgrades, compete in traditional competitive modes, or create your own content to play and share with the Grand Theft Auto community. So this is basically the exact same thing we've kind of used to now. It's kind of a brief synopsis of Grand Theft Auto Online, even on the current, well I guess you can say last-gen consoles, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. But what I like to see here is the fact that they talk about this being an ever-changing universe. At last, it sounds like Rockstar is taking some pride with Grand Theft Auto Online, so I'm really excited to see what this looks like on the next-gen consoles. They go on to even say, the all-new content and gameplay created since the launch of Grand Theft Auto Online, including an extensive array of new jobs, an arsenal of new weapons, scores of new vehicles, new properties, and player customizations will also be available for both the PlayStation 4 system, Xbox One, and PC, with much more to come. In addition, the current community of players will have the ability to transfer their Grand Theft Auto Online characters and progress to their choice of PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC. So from the moment we played Grand Theft Auto on these last generation consoles, the main question and concern was, you know, when this game does get released for the next gen consoles, can we transfer our characters? Because, I mean, me alone, I have, I think, like 20 days played on my character. I mean, it would really suck if I had to start from scratch. And to hear that they're taking, you know, the community's feedback into account, they're allowing us to take our characters to the next gen consoles, that is awesome. So you guys do not need to worry about making a new character and starting from scratch. And you read it there, guys. We're getting new guns, new properties, some new wildlife, Life, some new jobs, some new customization options. Grand Theft Auto 5 for the next gen console seems to be bigger and better. They go on to even say that GTA 5 for the PC will also feature a video editor designed for advanced movie making. Yeah. You can be Steven Spielberg if you're playing on the PC and make your own GTA movies, it's just fucking sick. That's basically what this entire Newswire article did state. It also goes on to say that if you want, you can actually pre-order the next-gen versions of GTA 5 as of now at GameStop, Walmart, wherever you guys prefer. But anyways, I'm really excited. The next-gen version of GTA 5 seems to be coming with full force. Seems like they're really improving a lot of things that we've really been asking for for months now. And hopefully highest get released this month. And hopefully when uh, GTA 5 for the next-gen comes out, they're on there as well. I mean, we gotta wait another year. So anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you want to read the full article, link to everything is in the description, in the trailer, all that stuff. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe. So make another video today, but there's really nothing to cover. And um, I, I, I'd love to have you work, guys. And uh, I'm trying to make these two videos a day, but I couldn't find anything else. Uh, you gotta live with one video for today. But anyways, hope you did enjoy the video. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace.